Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77, and we are back on the BerryCraft server. This is my second episode on this server, and it's all Bedrock. And you know I don't usually do Bedrock. I'm usually a Java player. So this is kind of like all new to me. So uh, from the last time, it's been a little while. Um, I started to build uh, this hole here, and I've kind of decorated it. I made it look kind of cool. Now, all of these down here, they're actually barrels. I use barrels for floors. What do you think? Is that cool? So, yeah, it's looking pretty nice here. I've also got a little mini storage area here. I try to divide it up into areas and things that I kind of, so I can get better at where things are at, that sort of thing. Got my richities here. I don't have a lot of diamonds, and we're going to fix that in just a couple seconds here. So, uh, going out here, I started collecting just basic stuff. So, we've got some trees over here, some spruce and some oak. I've got some cactus, some bamboo, sugar cane. These are all potatoes right now. We also have wheat, and we have the berry bushes. We have chickens that are producing eggs, and that's kind of nice. And then over here, we have some cows and some sheep. So I've got the basics of resources that we need. They're kind of noisy over there. But uh, I said, oh, yeah, I forgot this. This is my little uh, cooker, so I can cook up uh, potatoes. Anyway, <laughs> I said we need how to work on the richities here because if you look... And this chest, I've only got three diamonds. And, you know, I would like to wear some diamond armor. That would be kind of nice. So I think we're going to start over at our mine and start mining some stuff up. Now, I'm going to have to gather some resources here, and we're going to start that up in just a second. What I want you to do, guys, hey, let's do a quick one-hour mining session, and I want you to tell me how many diamonds I get during this one-hour mining session, okay? Uh, I will tell you the final count. In just a little bit. Well, guys, this mining session wasn't really that good. So if you look here, you can see I only got eight diamonds, and you probably just saw that. I was using iron picks, so I really didn't go very fast. But I did get some redstone. I got some coal, a bunch of iron, and some gold, and, of course, obsidian because we're going to make our nether portal. Let's head back up to the base. I'm just around the corner outside my base, and I want to put the nether portal someplace over here for now. So we're going to build this up. And we're going to go into the nether, and we're going to see if we can find the nether tunnels that are for the server and move our tunnel to that proper layer. Okay, so there it started, and let's go see what's on the other side. Well, I came out of, looks like, Foxy's portal, and this is just beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's got all of the new 116 blocks. It looks really cool. It looks like there's a trading post is that way to a raid farm. We've got a basalt generator. Uh, I don't know yet. <laughs> uh, smeltery and storage and two spawns. So I'm assuming I would go that way. Um, and that is, uh, I think, what we're going to have to do here in a minute. Now, I think we're at Y level 11, so at least I know that. But i got to find where my portal is. Uh, this doesn't take me back, so I've got to go back and get some coordinates, and then I can figure out where it is. In the so let me go find my way back. It looks like this is where my portal has to be. I found this, which I'm assuming is a major thoroughfare to get to spawn in other locations. And it came out right over here. So we're going to light this, and we're going to see if this takes me back to my base. Here we go. Let's see. It looks like it does. It also looks like it's nighttime. So I'm going to go back in, and I'm going to see if I can find spawn. Looks like I found the spawn portal. And uh, there's a lot of work's been done here. It looks fantastic, guys, uh, for those of you who are watching. Um, it's very, very cool. They've got a lot of stuff that they've done here to light this thing up, make it nice and big for a big room. Uh, the the Y level is level 11, so that means we're kind of low. Um, you got people here. Donuts Swamp is that way. Uh, Nova's Island. I saw a sign for Penguin. I'm going to go through this one. I think this takes us to the main island. Things have changed since the last time I was here. Uh, looks like this is Penguin's fireworks shop. Um, I'm not sure if they fought the end dragon yet. 
So it'd be nice to find that out. Looks like we've got some armor stands here. Uh, Elytra. Unenchanted 250 or 25 diamonds. Enchanted is 35 diamonds, really. So uh, people have been able to get the Elytra at least. Wow. Um, I only got eight diamonds. No Elytra for me. That would be very helpful, though. We're going to have to work on that. Um, shulker boxes are six diamonds each. I didn't bring any diamonds anyway. Wow. Okay. So there's lots of stuff that's for sale here. There's these nice stairs, nice white and black usage. What is this? Cobwebs. I'm not sure what's... Uh, those are kind of like chess pieces. Is that what this is? I'm not sure if this is a shop or, or what. Uh, I don't know. What else is there? Oh, there's something over there. Something purple. Let's go check this out. There's a lot of stuff here, and, and I haven't been on as much, and so that's called... Oh, wow. Let's see. What is this? This is first, second, and third uh, for a game. Uh, there's a tinker box. I have nothing here. I'm not sure what this is. What is this? The block bounty. Okay, so it's basically a block collection system. That makes sense. Got some sort of big totem out right there. That's cool. And we also have these, this house here. That looks gorgeous. I'm just amazed at all the stuff that people do here. It looks like some sort of loading dock for iron and for, looks like slime. Mm. So I'm wondering if this is, oh, look, there's got like a little lift here. That's pretty cool. Very neat. Very nice build. What is this in here? Chains, anvils, iron. Is there a sign that tells you what it's, how much it is or anything? So we got some redstone stuff, lamps. I'm not sure what. One diamond 16. Okay, so there's something in the center there. They're down here too. Because I'm wondering how much iron is for sale, which means someone has an iron farm. That's great. Ah, uh, one diamond a stack. Okay. So this has probably got slime also. Like the little airship. That's really cool. Very cool, guys. Those of you who are on the server, um, I don't have any diamonds to really spend yet. So I guess. Um, I guess I'm going to go back. I would like to find some soul sand, though, in the nether, because I'm thinking about doing something with that in just a minute. You know, there's, like, soul sand in the wall. I can't help it. I want to get some of this stuff, and I'll fill in the wall. At least make it look the same way again. And there we go. Okay, now I've got my soul sand. Now I have to find my way back. I think what I'll do, though, is also go and grab a sign and put it, like, right over here to say that this is also my area. And I gotta get some of the uh, soul speed boots because that everything around here is using this and it slows me down. Tinker 77. There we go. And we'll put it with some white dye. Oh, we can't put white dye? I'm sure we can color it. How do you color it? Uh, does it take just straight bone meal? I don't think it would take straight bone meal, but we'll just try that out. Maybe it doesn't use the dye. Very strange. How do you dye it? Um, I thought you would use white dye. Interesting. Anyway, that's that. We're going to go back in here. And we're going to put another sign that says right here. And we'll just put a sign that says Tinker77. That's that direction. So, like that. In case they need to find me. And one more. I guess I could put two more. One right here. And uh, you know what? Let's put it right. See, now see, that's dyed. That's interesting. Can we put one right on front of it and put there? <laughs> okay. And we'll put one more all the way over at spawn. Going down the stairs to the mine is a really big pain, and I'd rather have a water elevator. So we're going to uh, make another room here. I'm going to go right through here. And I want to go and make basically a water elevator right inside of here. So I'm going to dig this out, make a little space. So right there, we have to dig down, straight down to layer 11. And you're not supposed to do that, are you? No, in Minecraft, we don't dig straight down. But I'm going to right now. Let's go. And here I am. I'm at layer 11. I should be very close to my tunnels. They should be that direction. So I'm going to mine over that way so I can see it. Um, and then we're going to work on this some more. Because I have to find a way to get back up now. I have, to, I have to find my other tunnel. I found my stairs. This is awesome. Now let's get to work building this elevator. 
for this project, we're going to need a lot of things like comparators and repeaters, redstone and torches, maybe some sticky pistons, and the pressure plate, and of course, magma blocks and soul sand so we can go down and we can go back up. So I think I have what I need. Now let's go and build it. Ooh, digging out the space below the water elevator. I found some diamonds. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Is it only two? I don't know. Nope. Looks like it might be a four. That's good. That gives us four. Now, we don't have fortune yet, but hey, some more diamonds. Anyway, haha. <laughs> I was digging down here, and basically right here is where you have the water elevator. So I usually like to do a setup of what it's going to look like first. So we need to have normally the magma block will be the default position. Okay. And below that, we're going to have the soul sand okay and then we're gonna have some blocks down here so i'm gonna do that right now get some rid of some stuff here i'm basically i'm making the in essence the mechanism the tower mechanism for this entire project okay so let's put a block right here i'm going to use regular stone for a lot of this because i don't want to really de-decorate if you will and you have a sticky piston going upwards here and that should do it let's make sure i can do this right let's see there it is. So that's the basic stack. Now I have to make the other piston and work on the mechanism so that when I step on it, it actually does the, the block swapping. I think the block swapper circuit is ready to go. So we'll put that on there. Let's see if I step on it, it should switch. There it did. If I step off, it should switch back. And it does. Okay. So that's working great. Now, of course, the timing needs to be changed because I want this to stay soul sand for a little bit longer. So I'm going to work on a little bit of a timing circuit uh, just now. I've added a comparator clock down here to make a little bit of a delay. It's probably not long enough yet, but the clock is there, and I can always extend it. So here we go. If I step on this, it switches immediately to Soul Sand, which would push me up. And then when I step off, it has a delay before it switches back. All right, I think this will work for now. What I need to do is I need to go and get some water and go and get some kelp so that I can make them all water sources so that I know for sure that this mechanism works, okay? I'm gonna take this out right now so I don't trip it. I'm also gonna take this block out, okay? There we go, and I'm gonna put a piece of dirt because we have to grow it on dirt, the kelp. So I'm gonna put that in right now before we get out there. Okay, now, I don't think I have any kelp, so yeah, I gotta go look for some and get a bunch so that we can make this water elevator work. I was getting some of this kelp when uh, I started to get attacked by a drown and it sounds like they have a a trident with them so we're gonna see if we can get them uh right there down here see them you can see them down there slowly i don't know if i can get to them or not let's see if i can do it real quick here give me a trident drop it did you drop it nope no trident but hey at least we got a lot of the kelp here that we want so i'm gonna gather this up we're gonna head back to the base place the water there we go. We're going to give it a couple seconds, and then we're going to try to swim down and hopefully get down to the bottom and not die, and then we'll start to place the kelp. Now that I'm at the bottom, I'm going to start placing kelp. You put it on right there, and then you got to do this all the way up. So here we go. I replaced the dirt with a magma block, so when we go across, it should switch, and those things you should see they go all the way up there. And so they come off here, they'll probably come back down all of the, of the kelp. Now... I have to try to see if this works, and I won't die because either way, I have air bubbles I can breathe. But this way, I can see if we make it all the way to the top or not, so let's just give this a shot. <laughs> and that worked, but that was really strange. And I'm not sure why it's not, like, pulling me down. It sounds like they're coming up. The bubble should be going down. <laughs> it, this is normal. Okay, something's weird. Let me see if we can do this. Okay, so it's taking us down. And that's because there is soul sand. Or not soul sand. There's magma blocks. I'm not sure what to do, guys. There is a bug here. I'm going to show you. You can see the bubbles are going downward. And when I do my pressure plate, it switches. And you can see the bubbles are going upward. Okay? Okay. And that means I should be pushed up. Now, for some reason, it doesn't let me go up really fast. It goes really slow. Even though the magma block switches over, I'm still going up. It's very strange. So if I go up here, and I go in, see, it starts me up kind of quick, and now I'm going up at a very, very slow pace. And this shouldn't be. And I've tested this in a single-player world, and it seems to work fine. So I don't know if it's something with the server or what's going on, but what's really interesting is the magma block will change. And you can see the bubbles are going downward from where I am. And that means it's trying to pull the water down, yet I'm still going up. 
it's it's a very strange situation, and I'm not sure what to make of it. I don't know if this is a bug, or if this is a problem with the server lag. I just don't know. I'm almost to the top here, and you can see some bubbles are going up, but you can also see some bubbles are going down, and then all of a sudden they'll stop and they'll just go down. See, there's some going down, swirling in a whirlpool, and some going up. This does not make sense. And now if I go down here, it pulls down perfectly fine. I don't get it. I have spent many hours on this. I've replaced this water two or three times different ways. I even used ice. Um, so I know every one of those is a source block. And I just don't know what's going on. If you have any suggestions on why that wouldn't work, uh, please let me know down in the comment section. All right, guys. I think I figured out what's going on. And it is a difference that is between Java and Bedrock. So when a block gets placed underneath a column of water in Java, like this magma block, immediately the entire column changes to the bubble type that pulls down, or soul sand, the bubble types that push you up. The problem is in bedrock is that when it immediately gets placed, it doesn't do the whole column. It does a block at a time of the water sources going up. So if I sit here and I go immediately on, you can see it's really slow. But if I try it and sit on the pressure plate just for a little bit, and the water bubbles are going up and up and up, then when I step in, I'll shoot up a little bit. Until I hit the point where it's making the water bubbles all the way up. And now we're going slow again. So you can see it's kind of going at a block at a time all the way up, making the transition to what type of bubble that it needs, instead of making the whole column at once. So what does this mean? Well... It means that this doesn't function like it does in Java. This is one of those little quirks that between Bedrock and Java. And it means that redstone mechanisms that switch automatically the type of elevator that you're going to use will not work correctly. So I guess this uh, project is a dud, but we learned something. And that's always good. That's why I'm trying to play with Bedrock. Is because I'm trying to learn the differences of Bedrock between Bedrock and Java. So I'm going to have to either make this a downward elevator and make one for just going up or if since we're just going to make a downward we could always make this be upwards and make a fall shoot that we fall into water which is something that people can do and it works very well and so that is what i have done so here's my fall shoot we go all the way down we fall down into some water and we're down in our mining area and then of course we can go around and take the water elevator all the way back up and this works fine because i am not switching blocks so this will take me all the way up really quick and then work all the way back up in the base again. So there you go. That's the solution. It's not a redstone solution, but it is a solution and it works. Well guys, I intended to start another project, which would be a build, a creative style build instead of a redstone build. And I wanted to do it in this episode, but of course, you know what happened? I got stuck on some redstone in bedrock. So we didn't get really to that point. And I don't want to start it now as this video is going go on really, really long. So I'll just do that in the next one. So I think this is it, guys. Hey, if you, you there, I'm looking right at you. Hey, if you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you would like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all the notifications, okay? Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.